Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a taboo romance recommendation video for you. So this is going to be a variety of different taboo romances. Some are lighter on the taboo side and some are heavier on the taboo slash forbidden side. So let's get right into this video. The first book I want to talk about is The Bride Goes Rogue by Joanna Shoup. This is a Gilded Age historical romance set in New York in the early 1900s and our heroine and hero have been engaged betrothed to each other for over a year and the heroine is like when are we gonna get married and the hero is like I never agreed to marrying you and so she is absolutely furious with the hero um, because she's been waiting a year to get married to him and that was a year she lost for getting potential suitors and so she is just like hates him and the hero hates her father so it's kind of um like a rival's romance too and that's kind of the taboo aspect because she doesn't want to fall for him because he is her father's like enemy and so they um accidentally bump into each other at kind of a like um party where everybody has to wear a mask and they have like a moment together and so then they decide to kind of start this like friends with benefits kind of thing but they hate each other and he doesn't want to fall for her because she he absolutely hates her father and so it's this like really good angsty tension they have insane chemistry they both don't want to fall for each other but they end up falling for each other and it is so so good highly highly recommend the next book is another historical romance and that is again the magic by lisa Claypez. This one is so fun so and very angsty. So our heroine and hero grew up together where she was, you know, a part of the rich family and the hero was the stable hand and they end up falling in love in their teens and the hero um, gets shipped off to the Americas because her father is like, you cannot marry um, somebody lower in social status than you. And she's absolutely devastated. So the hero ends up leaving and she ends up having to persuade him to go and ends up saying like, I don't love you because that's the only way she knows he'll go. And so now he comes back um, in the future and he is so furious with her for pushing him away and saying and not wanting to be with him that he now like hates her and wants to get back at her and she wants him to but she doesn't she can't tell him the truth and it is so so good I love this one it's very angsty they both hate each other well he hates her and she feels like absolutely horrible um but it's just really really good so much chemistry and angst like this was my first book from Lisa Claypez and it totally made me fall in love with her writing. The next book I'm going to talk about is Haunting Adeline. So this one's pretty taboo. Our heroine falls in love with her stalker and so the heroine lives in this like creepy like mansion that she inherited from her grandmother and she realizes she gets a stalker and she starts like toying with the stalker like she'll bring over guys and have them like pleasure her in front of him and to get him mad and then she finds out that those men have disappeared um and it's really good it's a dark romance um the hero does some really cool work where he helps save um girls who are in sex trafficking and um the heroine is an author and it's really just this cat and mouse game of them toying with each other that's kind of the main plot but there's also this subplot of she found this diary of her great grandmother's of where she might have had a stalker and they follow like her grandmother up to um her death and it's really mysterious and interesting i really liked it i listened to the audio of it and it was so amazing highly highly recommend the next book i have is close quarters by candy steiner this is on the lighter side of taboo kind of um so our heroine and her boyfriend at the time is her boyfriend is a yachty and he's going to be spending the summer on a yacht and the heroine like traveling around the mediterranean sea and the heroine was going to go off by herself and do photography photos for her photography business to get photos for her portfolio and the hero who is the owner of the yacht sees the heroine is like well why don't you just stay on the yacht because you can get all these pictures and you can stay with your boyfriend and she's like okay so she ends up staying on the yacht but ends up spending more and more time with the owner of the yacht and he is a billionaire his name is Theo he is I think like 10 or 11 years older than the heroine and he wants her so badly they have so much chemistry and she's like doubting her relationship with her boyfriend and there may or may not be some 
cheating in here um, with the timeline. It is so good. Very angsty because it's like we can't be together. Like I have a boyfriend and you're older and a billionaire. And it's so, so good. I also love the scenery in this one if you want a really good travel romance. Candy Snyder does an amazing job of setting up like all of the travel like traveling the mediterranean sea and we get to see all of these places and it's really really cool i love this one it is so so amazing highly recommend this next one is a best friends younger sister romance and so our hero and heroine meet at a gala and the hero is a billionaire and um he's like instantly attracted to this woman he's like oh my gosh who is this woman and he doesn't see her after that night and the next day he's in a business meeting where um they are trying to figure out this like building that they're building where it is going to be on top of like a nun rescue center like it's um i think it's a no it's a shelter it's just, i always mess this up because i don't remember exactly what it is but anyways it's a shelter and nuns run it and so they're like we can't do that like demolish this building because it would look really bad for business and so the hero goes down to talk to some of the nuns at the um sh the shelter to kind of figure out what they're going to do and he ends up seeing the woman from the night before and then he realizes that she is also his best friend's younger sister so um the forbidden aspect of that is that he's a little bit older than her and she's going to become a nun but they only have one month together until she becomes a, a nun and so they want to do stuff together and it is so good and it's so angsty because she's we don't know until the end if she's going to become a nun and leave the hero or stay with him um and it is so good trigger warning though um the hero throughout this book is in the process of losing his mom to cancer so that's very prevalent in the book but this book was amazing i love it so much the audios for this whole series is incredible i highly recommend the audios um definitely go check it out it was a great spicy time with some tabooness in it this next book is tied by karen cole so this one is such an interesting unique romance i feel like and so the heroine get ki gets kidnapped when she is five years old and she is held in captivity for I think until she is like 16 and the hero is the one that saves her she was like locked in like a dungeon in the woods basically and he saves her and while she was in captivity she would read fairy tales and she would always be hoping for her prince charming and so now um she sees the hero as her prince charming um and so now it's a couple years later and she goes to go find the hero to thank him for saving her and they kind of strike up a friendship the hero is very reclusive he's grumpy he lives in the woods with just him and his dog and um they kind of start up a friendship and she really wants to um take a step with a like take a step with a relationship and turn it into romance but he's like that's wrong like you're younger than me you're still processing and healing from what you just went through um and i really love this one i loved the audio of this one it was so so good i, f I felt like the audio narrators did such an amazing job um so i really liked it it is a little taboo because he did save her and she had kind of a more childlike mind in the beginning just because of all the trauma she went through. But I really loved it and I recommend the audio for this one. The next book is probably one of the most taboo on this list and that is What Was Meant to Be by QB Tyler. This is a um, dad's best friend romance and so the hero and heroine were actually in relationship before but then he broke it off with her and now it's a couple years later and she is engaged to somebody else and he gets the wedding invitation to her wedding and he's like this is not gonna happen I'm going to go win her back and get her back and so he comes back into the picture and he's like you are not gonna marry this guy um we're gonna be together and she's like what the hell like you just popped out of nowhere and so there is cheating involved because he kind of seduces her into being in a relationship with him and she just is so heartbroken from when he left her she doesn't really want to marry the guy but she kind of does um like she just feels obligated to and it's so good very angsty the parents still don't know that they were in a relationship um lots of spicy scenes in this one some pegging in this one and i just loved it a super fun spicy forbidden time this last book is a age gap um, kind of forbidden romance because of the age gap. So this is probably one of the biggest age gaps I've ever read. I think the hero is 56 and the heroine is 21 or 22. And so um, the heroine works at um, the Salacious Players 
bar and she's a bartender and she makes a bet with the other bartender where if she wins um she like gets money or something and if he wins she has to go up and be auctioned off for a date and so she loses and she has to be auctioned up for a date and she looks super awkward up there and just like stressed out and so the hero is like okay i'll place a bid out on her because he doesn't want her to be in a weird like situation because she was never really into doing stuff in the club and so he wins and they kind of strike up a little bit of a friendship he's like looking out for her and she lives in a van in like a park and he's like well why don't you stay with me just to get your feet till you get back up on your feet and so they end up staying together and he helps her kind of explore um, her sexuality and her kinks and this has daddy kink in this one and so they end up taking a trip to Paris and that's when their romance flourishes and it is really really good it's an age gap romance not a ton of substance to it or plot well there was plot I'm sorry there was plot um, but it felt it's a little insta lovey in some parts but i didn't really mind it i just love the character so much the hero is one of the sweetest heroes i've ever read and he's just so swoony and i really really love this one if you want a spicy daddy kink age gap romance um i highly recommend this one all right well that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed um hearing me discuss some taboo romances definitely let me know down below what your favorite taboo romances are i would love to know. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.